is Darwin Symphony Orchestra's last hurrah for 2020, combining classical music and contemporary dance to showcase Darwin's cultural identity. It's exquisite to perform with beautiful artists, musical, you know, and the composition that we're dancing to is just absolutely exquisite. Um, my dancers are exquisite. Larry Keir choreographer Gary Lang has been in the dance business for decades, and this is the second time he's collaborated with the DSO. The Darwin Symphony Orchestra had asked us, NT Dance Company, if we would like to be a part of this season because we did something previously down at the Convention Centre, and it's great it's come back into the Darwin Entertainment Centre. Territory-born dancer Kathy Young has spent much of her life performing on stage and says this show is like nothing she's done before. Well, Gary's style um, suits classical um, music. His choreography has foundations in both um, contemporary dance and uh, classical ballet with a mix of his own very unique style. <laughs> It's been a busy week for the orchestra's conductor, Jonathan Tooby, to get the sound just right. So the soundscape is very, very pure and um, at times it's raw as well. It has quite a huge spectrum. Um, but with the solo violin, which sings above everything, it's just absolutely spectacular and it seemed like an obvious choice to choreograph something too. The performance has been in the making in Darwin for months and it will cross borders with the production being streamed to online audiences at the Melbourne Digital Concert Hall website next week. Peter Lacey, ABC News.